morning another day of the rice diet i'm gonna start the day off with a liter of water you want to see me down it a liter let's go Wow. Whew. The more you do that, the easier it definitely becomes. I remember whenever I did that before, I almost threw up. But now it's so much easier. So much easier. And you're, you already start to feel the, the, the water go through the system and start to hydrate like every cell. So yeah, let's get ready for the day. And what do we have here? What do we have here, guys? This is a box of Algerian dates. Look at that. These are my sweets. Sweets. I just don't see why people don't eat these instead of sweets. These are good for you. High in fiber, low in fat. Great source of energy. 15 dates, one banana. So guys, I guess it's time to uh, carb up. Last night, um, I don't think I carved up enough because um, in the evening I started eating more uh, rice and soup, etc. And, uh, you know, everybody knows that if you eat late at night, like, you know, your system is focused on digestion instead of healing your system. So this time I'm going to try to carb the fuck up before the evening time. So let's get into food. Let's get into food. So, guys, this is what I'm currently having for lunch. This is actually going to be, it's around 5 o'clock time, so I can't really call it lunch. But, yeah, this is going to be my meal. Uh, two bowls of rice, Chinese noodle soup. And this is my attempt at making my mom's uh, African spicy tomato sauce, and um, yeah, this is what I'm. This is what I'm gonna smash in. Remember, healthy as well, guys. Get the greens in. Um, there's some spinach and peppers in that as well. So I'm gonna smash this in. Devastation! 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 It's a massacre. It's a rice massacre. Now time to sleep. Joke. It's time. It's time to go running. Running crew, ready, let's go. Me and Adam are here in the running club. We meet up and uh, there's two groups. There's two groups. There's a longer group and a, and a slightly shorter group. It's just like three, four miles or something like that. <laughs> so yeah. We'll find out, we'll find out how much we do. So let's run. It begins, it begins. <laughs> Um, can we see a wild Clinton in the woods of Beaver, of Beaver Forest Park? So we just finished the running. It's pretty good. Pretty intense. How'd you find it? Harsh. I, Harsh? I can tell you my muscles are going to be sore tomorrow. What, what is it that we did? What is it that we did? It's like... So we did a bit of a cross country. It seemed to be a bit of a cross country run. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of hills. A lot of hills. Lovely, lovely. Oh, place. the hills are amazing though. The hills are amazing. I think it was like, uh, all together, it was like 3.5 miles. Yeah, 3.5 miles, and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do some running back to the house. Yeah, so maybe about four and a half miles. Four and a half miles together, so we're gonna hit that up. <laughs> Sister's trying to say we just splashed water on ourselves. <laughs> you don't know what we've been through, man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> An hour and thirty minutes. You mean like? Yeah. Oh. Adam, how do you get so how do you get so lean eating all those carbs? How come you're not huge? What's going on? <laughs> I thought carbs make you, you fat. Direct me. <laughs> running like. So guys, that is another episode of the rice diet complete. Adam's away home. All of us, all, all together. Great day. Loved the experience. Worked hard. Sweated my ass off. Note to self, space, eating, and running. I had three huge bowls um, of rice, rice noodles, etc. You guys saw what I ate. And um, uh, it was still digesting during the run. So a lot of energy was put there instead of it being solely focused on the run. So I felt a bit like sluggish. I felt not as energetic, but I could, I had so much energy just to push through and do it anyway. So note to self, carb up earlier or carb up afterwards or something like that. So um, thank you guys very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And remember, peace, love. And veganism. The world needs more peace, love, and veganism. Take care, guys.